Forty Jones. Finally, my boy has a sort of cool final boss looking form. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bustler. I should know me. I'm watching more One Piece today. And we are in the heat of the Fishman Island arc with Neptune now on the chopping block. Jimbei on the way, almost there. And Luffy is supposedly in the dirt because he lost to Jimbei. I don't know. Embarrassing. I'm going to need a good explanation from my captain. We're going to hop right into it. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to drop a subscription. It is free. And let's get started. I don't know if I should be hyped for Jimbei to get to the plaza or scared. Maybe both. What is this fake Neptune? Is it to bait them in? Oh no. Oh no. They believe it? You can't be serious. Even Megalo fell for it, bro. Oh my gosh! Jimbe! Just like that? That's it? I'm disappointed beyond belief. Dang, bro. Got them all in the chopping block. He's about to end the whole bloodline, bro. Because of the drugs, man. It's a cheat code. No one left in this country. Clueless. He's right, though. Their powers are fake, basically. I'm glad Neptune said that. Dude, if that's really the, the extent of Jimbei and he's just, like, locked up now, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh, yeah, what about Van Vanderdeck is just a wild card now. Yeah, she's the end goal because he's she he's scared of her. She's the only one that he's scared of because she she has that power to control the sea kings. Uh-huh. You can just say you're scared, man. And here they come with th that exact target. Dog, there's no way. Jimbei! You're so much stronger than this. Oh my god, brah. Just as he was talking about it. So he's concerned about most Jimbei too. Unless he's talking about Megalo. Man, what is this? What happened? Tell him, Hordy. Tell him what's going on. Boy, fake news travels very quickly. I wonder if the straw hats are still in the back of Hordy's mind, though. Especially because of how bad Zoro cut him up. Okay, yeah, he's, uh, he's open about it. Yeah, they're going to try to go there and get in first to save their friends. But Brooke's going to get Papagoo to, to free Usopp, him, and, and Zoro. So I think they'll be free by the time Luffy and them get to Ryugu Palace. I'm hoping. Yo, that fish mom kind of foin. What? 30,000? Bro, wouldn't this have been like a global issue that that many humans went missing? What is the plan? Go have all of them killed? 30,000 people? 100,000 outlaws? Oh my gosh. Wait, Horde's army is way bigger than I thought. I know we saw a lot of them in his like whole little hideout thing, but this is insane. Oh man, it does make it way complicated though if the Straw Hats have to take on this many people because how are you able to effectively and without making yourselves look horrible by taking down that many fishmen? He's just got his arms up. <laughs> He's literally just trying to like full reset the island. <laughs> got any other predictions, madam? Ooh. Ooh. He noticed her up there? Gosh, she bad, bro. Yeah, a man, Luffy. Not you. Oh, but it's gonna hurt his ego that she says he's not the one. Meanwhile, where is that goober? Oh. Dang, bro, the bubble pop! She started to be like, huh, maybe maybe it's a good thing that he will. That's gonna scare Horty a little bit, though, because everybody here knows how true her predictions become. Oh. Oh! Oh! Bro wasted no time. Okay, Horty, now you acting like the big bad. I'm not saying it's right that he did, but he need to be intimidating and he is now. That hurt his ego bad. What do you have against me, bro? She's just telling you the truth or what she sees. Your brother? 
Wait, who's her brother? She's Arlong's brother! Sister! What? Oh my goodness gracious, that's insane. Dang, bro. It's me. God, I wish Arlong would make some crazy surprise entrance. I'm gonna hold out the rest of the arc for one. That would be insane. It would be apropos too with how deep of a, of a wound he has in his entire country and his entire blood. Her being his sister is crazy, though. Oh. It wasn't a human! He shot her and blamed the human! Oh my god, I can't believe he would admit that, though. Oh my god. I can't believe he would admit that. Wouldn't that change some people's perspectives and minds? He's so ego and braggadocious. He has people to know that he's the one that brought her down. He paid the human to do it. Oh my goodness. After you finish the job and then he killed him. God dang, brother. And what do you want me to do? I mean, technically, yeah, a child could have done it. There's no guard around her if you're careful. Jeez, man. Oh, wait. He is the one that burned the papers. Ah, he he paid him to burn the papers so it caused commotion so that he could shoot her. Ah. God dang. So he actually was the one that pulled the trigger. Sheesh, man. I didn't even consider that notion. I don't know why. He was right. Even a child could have done it. He straight up just burned the papers. Brother. Horty for real, like, changed the course of the entire Fishman world. I still think it would have helped his cause more, though, to have people still believe that it was a human that did it. Like, yeah, he reversed her actions here now, but some people, like, sided with Horty because of what happened, or what they thought happened. Didn't like humans because of what they thought happened. Oh, wait, hey, it's not time for the execution. We still have like over an hour. I think, I don't know. Time passes very oddly in one piece. Oh, is he trying to piss her off? I feel like he's going to upset her to the point where the sea kings do come out. But his ego is going to make him make a mistake as if he hasn't already. I think he's straight up just being braggadocious because he thinks he's completely won. Like, there's nothing they can do anymore. He just is counting the straw hats out. He wants them to revel in it before he kills them. Brother, he's going to overstep! She looks surprisingly calm. Shockingly. Maybe because she knows how important her role in all this is. Wow. She's... Oh! What? Ah! She knew. How would she not have told anyone? Mysterious transition called Noah. That's, yeah, like Noah's Ark, basically. That's a pretty big leftover. Oh my gosh. Wait, so he can throw things at it? Or so he can throw that? Oh my goodness! What, he's gonna take the entire ship? Okay, now these bad boys are making a move. Money moves. He ain't got girl problems no more! Throwing the Noah at Shirahoshi. Oh my god! Brother is as lost the plot! Look at his legs! Half the size of the island. It's like a nuke! Okay, I like this. This is nuts. This is madness. Burn in hell! How fast will it move? What does Horty Jones think about this? Horty Jones would be mad, no? Who did he say made the made the made Noah? Just people? Long ago, everyone on the island just came together and made it. Okay. Sure, man. I, I don't know why. That seems like just like throwaway. I feel like it's way more important than that. Because like, why would they all just make this ginormous ship? Either way, 553. Let's, let's see if he to tosses this bad boy. Let's see if we even get to check in with Luffy. When did my camera freeze? At what point? Did it freeze? Tell me it wasn't that long ago. Please! <laughs> the fact that the gi gigantic ship is just headed towards them right now, it just makes us so much funnier. I just want to see Horny Jones' reaction to it. <laughs> that Vanderdecken could change all of this, not even the straw hats. <laughs> A few years after. <laughs> Megalo knew! Look at his face! He changed everything! This shark? So Megalo held in a secret this whole time. Did he see it happen? What, he just sat with that? Oh my goodness. 
What? Why did he not say something sooner? Megalo! Oh, Dios mio. Oh my god. Megalo, the most important character in One Piece. If I told anyone what? Yes, and rightfully so. He killed your mother. I... I, I don't I don't know about this son. I get that she's trying to make the bigger person, but this is this is the entire future of the island at stake. But it's not about getting angry or, or hating. It's about uh, people holding people responsible for what they do. Uh, brother, it's not anger. It's progress. He erased progress. The pinky promise. Just all this trauma in her head as she's being targeted by this psychopath. That's why she's so emotional. That is pretty stand up at the very least. Yeah, that works out for Horty. Hey, Megalo! That's what I'm saying. Even Megalo kept his mouth shut. I'm surprised Megalo didn't tell anybody else. Like, maybe the army or something. Megalo's fin was not in that pinky promise, brother! He allows the blame to just sit on them. Have them blame themselves. Stymie? Is that a word? Yeah, he can let her blame herself. Dude, I like I say, he's gonna push her too far, though. She's gonna, like, have an outburst, and the Sea Kings are gonna come calling. Oh, no. He's gonna keep hitting Neptune. And the Suns. Dog, how are they not dead already? Can we have a status update on, like, Luffy, the, the Straw Hats, everybody? Because things are, like, apocalyptic here. Unless he's already killed Neptune before the time's even up. Oh, the crown! Neptune has fallen. Wait. I can't believe there's what do you say a hundred thousand of them? I mean there's literally no opposition to them though right now. A beheading sword? Our only concern. Yeah, I mean, he's got the straw hats in the back of his head, but he doesn't care about them. Oh dog, they better hurry! It's a sick shot. What do you call those shots? Like, not establishing. What would you say? They're really contrasting ones. The white background. Either someone has to come flying in or... Oh, wait. What was that in front of her? It was, like, on the ground. Oh. Oh, wait. When will the fire with that? Are you guys looking forward to it now? Is he even, like, conscious after fighting Jinbei? Yeah, they'd rather him come and destroy everything. He's some smart kids. I will not lie. They're actually rooting on Luffy to show up. Oh my gosh, it's showing the shift in the people's perspective. More people would rather them come and cause chaos than whatever Horty Jones' plan is. Execute. He's calling for him! <laughs> As if Luffy would ever want to destroy anything. Boy, I feel like Jinbei's regretting everything now, seeing the people's perspective. Oh, it was a medical thing from the doctor. And before they actually hear, or he he actually hears them, he's got to piss Horty off. Moogie, what up? But he's just lifeless. He's like, I've done all this work to become the villain. They're cheering on another villain to show up. I don't know. I still disagree with the whole Shirahoshi thing. I get the promise, but Megalo, come on, bro. Just tell like a general or something. He's got to get here soon. We haven't seen him in like five episodes. <gasps> Hordy. Language. Oh, wait. Wait, he's straight about to do it. They have to show up. Hello, anybody? Ah, we're down to the wire. Who cares about the time anymore? The time is now. Drop of racial pride. Yeah, him killing Neptune establishes the end of his reign and the beginning of his. Hello, anybody? Is it gonna do like a three hours earlier and show like Luffy's progress of making it here, maybe? Sure, oh, she's gonna call the, the Sea Kings? Anything? She knew. Ah! Hello? Anybody? Oh, wait. No, sure, Hoshi. Oh, she knows she has to step in. She said Luffy. She's like calling for him. <laughs> you have to do something! The sword's in a downswing! Oh. What? What was that? What does that sound? Oh, Megalo. What? Is Luffy inside Megalo? Oh my god, he snuck in. Is he? Why is he trying to punch his way out? 
There is no goddamn way. Oh! Yes! Beat his ass, boy! Goddamn! He wasted no time! Let's go! <laughs> oh my! I think he's already singing gear. His skin is glowing. Brother! <laughs> oh! He was inside Megalo the whole time. Let's go. He finally got his hit in on Horty that he wanted. It's a miracle. So I'm guessing Jinbei didn't know about this. I don't know if Shirohoshi even did. You're out already? Oh! This was part of their plan. Jinbei did know. Wait, you all? Wait. Dummy! Were they all inside Megalo? What? Was she invisible? What? Oh, shoot! Gosh, she looked good. Oh, the letter. She grabbed it. Oh, my goodness, brother. You had one job. The master thief. Oh, shoot. The princes are freed. Oh, my God. Horty's going to be so mad, bro. There she is. There's my mom. In the sky. Sunny! Oh, shoot. There's my boy. The sunny cannon! <laughs> Bro, we're making a flashy entrance. Oh, baby. It's go time now! Go, whale! Oh, wait. He could snatch, like, Neptune and Shirahoshi. Get him out of there. Take him back to the palace, if anything. Let's go! Oh my god, dude, like I said, a Horty's going to be so insanely angry. Everything's being snatched away from him. So why did Jembe, when they were leaving, say, like, ah, it was tough getting it through to him? Maybe, like, they, they just decided on this plan together. Bro, Sunny just crashing down. So did they go to Ryugu and get Zoro and all them? There's Chopper. No, Chopper was still with all them. Yeah, they did! Oh my goodness. 70 or 80,000. I'm guessing, like I said, the whole thing with Brooke and, and, and Papa Goo. Oh, brother. Oh, brother, the Straw Hats are here. We get to see them all pop off finally. Oh, man. Oh, I'd be terrified if I were the fishman. They don't even know what's coming. Ain't no way to stand a goddamn chance against the Straw Hats. Look at this entrance. Just reassure them, Luffy. It'll all be revealed in due time. Why has Loro got that walk? <laughs> this is sick, man. This is, I get flashbacks to like the walk to Arlong, the walk to Frankie's old place. I kind of wish Frankie was part of the walk. Jinbei's free now too. Oh, shoot. Dog, they know how to do these moments so well with all of them. Yes, yeah, now I for Luffy to decide. He said, watch me, baby. Holy, what a what an, a fantastic sequence of events, bro. We didn't waste any time seeing them, you know, get reconnected with Zoro and all of them. It gave us the shock of a lifetime with him bursting out of Megalo. Perfectly done. I mean, the pacing of this entire arc has been fine so far, but that was just, uh, that was fantastic in the way that was done. Luffy getting a fat hit on this big bad villain of the arc to start off everything was, it, it was impeccable. I cannot praise these decisions enough in terms of the writing. And now all the straw hats are here and it is game time, baby. God, I love that walk. I hope they never do away with this entire entrance thing with the walk. I didn't think it would ever be a recurring theme, like whenever they first did it in Arlong, like the walk to Arlong Park. I was like, that's a really cool moment. But after this one, I've started to recognize it's become sort of the Straw Hats thing because we know them very well. But I try to put myself in the perspective of like one of these villains seeing this, this group walk up, this sheer power you just see radiating off of them and with their confidence. It just makes me that much happier to be rooting for them, man. But now we've got more lore, more answers. Horty Jones being the actual one to shoot Otohime, assassinate Otohime. Changes a lot in terms of probably the fish people's perspective. But yeah, next episode, I'm guessing it's all going down. This this fat war is going to begin. And we're really going to see the Straw Hats hopefully start to pop off. But guys, that has been it for my reaction to One Piece today. I hope you did enjoy. Drop a fat like on this one if you haven't already. Let's try to hit 1 billion likes. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.